here for the final half hour of One Bills Live. Chris Brown, Steve Tasker with you on a Friday edition of the program as we're getting set for week one, Bills Jets. But it is now time for our favorite part of the week where we try to stump Steve and play the game we affectionately call Tasker's Teammate. This is the ninth installment. Steve has been on a roll the last few weeks. Getting his former teammates properly guessed in the span of two or three clues, so we have upped the degree of difficulty on the clues. So I hope the uh, former teammate on the line right now is not insulted if Steve can't get this right away. But yeah, here we go. Yeah, trying to make it so I don't not sound like That's I don't right. know who the guy is. That's I right. Okay. okay, so clue number one for this ninth edition of Tasker's Teammate. My John home, Fina. It's not John Fina. All right. My hometown is about a nine and a half hour drive from Steve's hometown of Leota, Kansas. Nine and a half hour drive. That could be in any direction, right? That's not helping you knowing how flat it is out there. Nine and a half hours. Let's put some somewhere. But it's somebody else from the Midwest. In, somewhere up in Kansas City area. Or down south in Oklahoma City, man. No, Oklahoma City's not that far. Dallas. Time for Google Maps, Steve. New England could be <laughs> Mexico. I don't know. Okay. Okay, so clue number two. Much like Steve, I played my college ball in the Big Ten Conference. But I was only there for three seasons before declaring for the NFL draft. Now, we had another Big Ten former teammate a few weeks ago, Mike Lodish. Right. Played at Michigan State, so here's another one. Big Ten. Henry Jones. Holy crap, Steve, you're killing me, man. You got it. Oh, yeah! Good Lord, I didn't give the college I am nothing. A genius! You're killing me, man. Henry this is Jones. not fun for me anymore. Hank! I got him. Yeah. Got him in two clues. I got Jeez, him. Big dear Lord. Where'd you grow up? I didn't know your hometown. Where St. Louis. St. Louis. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I didn't know that. I knew you. Ah, yeah, the Big Ten. Well, yeah, it probably threw you off because I'm always, you know, I've been living in Atlanta for so long. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, hear me tell you. I'll tell you the story. So we draft Henry, and he held out because that's what everybody did back then. And we're playing a preseason game in Chicago. And we had been to a Super Bowl, right? It yes. was after Super Bowl yes. 25. And I'm right. sitting there, and Henry is at the game in the stands, <laughs> and I see him. <laughs> and I was like, I gave him the seat. Like, come on, man. Come on. And he's like, he's like, I will. He's like this. He's like, I will. I'll be there. And he was. And I remember the two. There was a time when I was standing on the sidelines, and we were, you know, we were good. And I asked Frank Reich, I said, what guy on this field – is going to be a Buffalo Bill after all the guys on this roster now are all long gone. And we both said it was going to be Henry Jones. And it was because yeah. three years, he played three more years for the Bills after you were done. Yeah. Which was another one of my clues that I didn't get to because you <laughs> freaking guessed it after two clues. Good grief. Hang. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I was, I had all these clues ready to go because, you know, Henry, Henry was, you were a corner at Illinois, right? And then they asked you to play safety here. Played corner in Illinois, but our scheme was such that the corners were more in the deep half and the safeties were a little closer to the line of scrimmage. So it worked out for me. Yeah, Walt Corey wanted to have four corners on the field, really, is what he wanted. Yeah. So, yeah, and, and Henry was one of them, yeah. Henry, you look great, man. Uh, I remember, Thank too, you. Henry Henry burst onto the scene on a Monday night game when we had a man-to-man on Keith Jackson. Ooh. And Keith couldn't do anything that. And Henry ended up tackling the guy like, nine times unassisted or something or whatever so uh, well here he is playing on you know a super bowl contending team and then he has that giant year where he yeah. ties for the league lead in interceptions with eight and uh after that he was you know he was a household name yeah yeah one of the great well, athletes yeah what sticks awesome. out about that what sticks out henry about that big season that you had when you had the eight picks was it just like you were in a zone like the whole year one of the big things was um, against the Rams, I had two interceptions. I think it was the first home game. Uh, the first, I think it might have been my first start as, as a Bill, and it just really really gave me the confidence that I needed coming into a team loaded with such superstars like Steve Tasker. Yeah. Uh, the confidence to be able to 
play with those guys, knew I belonged in the league. That was uh, it was an awesome experience. That that first Rams game in '92. Yeah, Henry. Henry was. You could see it too, and it was obviously you know when you get drafted in the in the as high as Henry did, the thing you check off is you got to be an athlete. Henry was a phenomenal. He could have played offense or defense. He could have. The guy could have been a PGA pro too. I mean, the guy was. You know, give him any. <laughs> <laughs> Henry could have played any sport professionally you can name. I really believe it. He w- he could do it all, and that's why that's why he played so long and was so good. I appreciate that, man. Just being around you guys uh, makes anybody better and bring your A game, that's for sure. Yeah, it was a fun group. It was a fun group. Man, it's great. You look great. I know that. T- Last time I saw you in person, probably it was it. Who got in the Hall of Fame? We were down in Canton or something. I don't know. It might have been Thurman or somebody. Um Yeah. Yeah, that was the last time we all kind of got together. You look good, though. What What are you doing now? Tell us, give us a little uh, heads up about what you're up to. I am literally. Uh, I was. I'm, I work at a local high school, and I'm a strength coach, and then I'm a track coach. So I was literally in the training session and about to go to track practice. Oh, I saw you. You told me about your. How's your daughter? Then she's uh, running hurdles, right? Oh yeah, yeah. My youngest is doing fantastic. Uh, she went. To, she committed to USC. She's out in California. Dang. But okay. uh, they're shut down <laughs> right now, so right. she's doing remote learning on uh, on campus. Yeah, on campus, but she's remote. Yeah. Well, that's how the yeah. colleges get your money. Yeah, that, well, yeah. Although yeah. she's probably on yeah. scholarship. Yeah. <laughs> they ain't getting yeah. Henry's money. I'm we'll getting home. That's good. <laughs> how does this now? How does this? Uh, how does it affect her with the, you know competitions and stuff? Are they going to compete in track? I mean, that seems like a sport where they might be able to get away with it. I don't, you know, it's interesting because they're not really getting the training that they need right now out in California because so many things are shut down. Yeah. But then you have teams down in Texas and in Florida, they're training really hard. So uh, th- that's a good question. We still really don't know how it's going to look. Yeah. All right. Well, it's really good to see you, Henry. We thank you for uh, carving some time out for us. I'm glad Steve got you fast so you can get right back to track practice. So uh, Steve accommodated you here. So good to see your face, though, and uh, good to talk to you again. Uh, Godspeed to you, man. Stay healthy out there. I appreciate it. Uh, Always a pleasure. Anytime, man. Good to see y'all. I'll see y'all soon, okay? Okay, take take care, care, Henry. Henry. Appreciate it.